This is the moment you've all been waiting for. We are at the Fan Expo Cleveland, and I'm pumped to be here. There's celebrities in there. There's graphic artists. There's voiceover artists that are known all around the world, and an awful lot of amazing people here to explore and here to meet some of their favorite people. So we're going to explore it today all day, and you can find us, come up here and see us. But right now, I'm going to show you just a little bit on Cleveland to us. We made it to the Fan Expo Cleveland, and man, there's a lot of people here, and they're all excited. Half of them are in costume, because this is the dork show of the century. Well, of the year, at the very least, the largest Comic-Con, and it's right here in Cleveland. You gotta get down here. I'm gonna be here all day, but right now we're gonna explore a little bit. You got in town yesterday. Yeah. I'm assuming you, you had to come straight here to set up, right? So straight you didn't here. really get to explore anything. Yeah, no, no, we explored this. We wanted to find like, you know, Cleveland Eats. So yeah. we heard of this place called Chipotle. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, was, it was amazing. Yeah. I've never it's heard like of it. Mexican yeah. food, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've <laughs> got... And I was like, dude, this is freaking awesome. Why they should be all over the country. They should be. I'm, we're thinking about investing. You should. Yeah. You should. Yeah, yeah. Get right. a corned beef sandwich. I'm not messing around. I'm down. I, I sounds great. I promise you. If you eat a Slimans corned beef sandwich and it's not better than anything you had at Cat's Deli, come and find me. I'll give you a hundred bucks. I would love that. I would love to do that. that yeah, honestly, go, I'd love corned go, beef. Go to Slimans. Okay. It's going to change your world. Seriously, I'm going to try it. When you leave here, you will know that Cleveland has the best corned beef in the world. All right, man. Listen, I come I, look, from an Italian family. If it's not, look, I'm look, coming looking for you. Something. I'm looking you for you. You're talking to me. <laughs> hey. You're talking to me. This guy. Cleveland has the best corned beef, let me tell you. If you want pizza, Geraci's. They're amazing. They actually were down the street from where I grew up. We, we were just there. You saw us there a few days ago at Geraci's. We love pizza. I was flinging air, dough through the air. Right. Hey, this guy. All right. Yeah. This guy, all right. <laughs> Had a great time. Geraci's is where you want to go. It's in the suburbs, but you want to check out Geraci's. Let me ask a question. Why so serious? I'm one of the artists for the gallery, and that's one of the ones I did. Yeah, I love yes. it. Thank you. I love it. Part of today's episode is sponsored by Dungeons & Dragons, which is coming out on Netflix very soon. And so, to celebrate, we've got some free swag we're giving away. Come and find me while I'm here all day. We've got bags, we've got pins, we've got buttons, we've got some really cool swag, like I said, here at the Fan Expo Cleveland. And um, we'll take your picture, we'll put you on our Instagram. We're just here to have a great time. And I am a massive dork, so this is perfect for me because I just heard that Kate Flannery and Leslie Baker from The Office, so that's Stanley and Meredith, they just arrived, and I'm not about to miss the opportunity to try to get them on camera. So we're going to try to make that happen right now. Dunder Mifflin does Cleveland. <laughs> Right? No cleavage. Cleveland. Cleavage. Cleavage. I have a little bit, but all right. We not won't today, show that right? Off. Just but the but there's more than cleavage <laughs> here. So what are your favorite things about Cleveland? Well, I just went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and I was not prepared. It was so emotional. It's it I felt really like I was just 15. Hits you, doesn't it? It I just was hits like you. I was. Oh my gosh! It was insane. It was yeah. insane. Yeah. Yeah. It's the home that Rock built, and you got a firsthand. I did. Also, there's some great theater here. Like, there's a lot going on here. I know Jim Brickman. He's a piano player that lives here. Uh -huh. He's amazing. He's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. You guys have amazing talent here. Love it. So Seriously. So amazing, gorgeous people come to Cleveland. You're so kind. Thank you. I'm. I'm. This is facts. Hashtag facts. Okay. <laughs> We're dancing. We're selling paper. We're dancing. We're dancing. We're getting hit by a car. We're drunk. What's happening? Yeah, how, how did your recovery go? Ah, uh, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> The pelvis cast. I still, I actually kept one of the pelvis casts. 
Oh, he's pointing at me because my nose is schwitzing. Oh, he is me. Oh, couldn't you just we, plot? We Schmi- Go couldn't ahead. you just plot? <laughs> mm-hmm. He knows so. all the Yiddish. <laughs> <laughs> what he thought it was much <laughs> enough. Anyway, he's and living the in the future. I'm living in the future, mm. like Doc Brown. Like he's also here. Teleportation. It's amazing. Did you amazing. know we have the first DeLorean ever created here in Cleveland? I have seen so many DeLoreans all over the place. Oh, we have the first one. You got the first we one. We have the first one. And you know, you got to love a car that the door slides up like that. You it's have just, to. The first you know. DeLorean is here at the Cleveland History Center. Unless it's an orthopedic DeLorean. I don't want to get that We will make it happen. Ground. We'll it's retrofit like, it. Lure me into <laughs> it. <laughs> Today is Saturday. So later He's later living in the today, future again. I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> Come to the Q&A. Yes. Whatever day it is. Bit. And just a little bit. I could show up. It could be wonderful. I, I'll be there. So come, have questions and all that, and we'll see you there. Can't wait. Did you know that Dungeons & Dragons is coming out on Netflix soon? I had no idea. I well, no now idea. you do. Yes, I do. And I'm going to give you one of the giveaways because we, we randomly found you, right? That's awesome. Now you know it's coming out and you get some free swag, right? I tell you what, my go bag's getting full, so I'm glad I got another this one. This is perfect. This totally <laughs> worked out. So we're going to we're gonna hang out with a bunch of people today. We're going to give out a bunch of cool Dungeons & Dragons things. And you're going to catch a couple panels, right? Just left one right now. Just left one. Going to go to another one? Hopefully. This is great. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is for you, man. Thank you. Thank you. so. And this is for you, man. I appreciate it. All right. Well, we'll <laughs> see you. you around. Thank you. Thank you. You're here in Cleveland. Yes. And this is the greatest location in the nation. Did you know that? I, I believe it, despite being from Pittsburgh. I do believe that Cleveland. Well, is, this interview's uh, over. Cleveland is a wonderful city. I, I actually, I love Cleveland. I really, truly do. You're not just saying that. No, I've lost friends over it, and now you've got me on. <laughs> you've got me recorded saying it, so I'm going to be excommunicated. This is this, uh, you know from what? the city of Pittsburgh. You know what? We'll have to. You really edit some of this for yeah, anything you, that might get to Pittsburgh. You, you really want to get me kicked out of the city of Pittsburgh? Ready? Go Browns! Oh, now I've just lost. You know. I've, I've just my show's been canceled. This is the thing that I, I love the most. I will get fans who, you know, have my maze books and want you know maybe amazing peanuts, my peanuts maze book, or one of the other books, or maybe they clip one of my mazes out of the newspaper. But the ones that I really love mm-hmm. are the ones who show up with cans of Starkist tuna for me love to it. draw Charlie on. Love it. I absolutely love that. I think it's great. And the Charlie Funko Pops, I'll get people who want me to sign those. So check it out. If you're going to be yeah. here later today, bring a can of tuna. Bring a can of tuna. I will sign it free of charge. I'll draw Charlie right on the top there. This is so great. What a great sport you are. <laughs> Genuinely nice guy. Yeah, and I'll be I doing... I expected nothing like and, and I'll do, you know, if you come up, I do free drawings all day. Um, you just come up, you tell me your favorite animal, I draw it right then and there. So Thank you. I, myself, am a shopping cart collector. Oh, very the nice. The things I do with shopping carts, you got a lot more creative than <laughs> So what's the craziest thing you've done with a shopping cart, Bubbles? I haven't done anything that crazy with one. Really, I mean, I've... Chopped a few up and made a few things out of them, but I mainly just fix them up and sell them back to the grocery stores. He did, he did hook up a, a lawnmower right on lawnmower engine to a shopping cart. And he took it across a big bridge we have in Halifax, the McDonald Bridge. You know, you know what I liked about? I was going to say the same thing. Was the chopper wheel that you had? Like you yeah, had like a chopper cool. wheel in the front. That was. Cool. I did make a shopping cart helicopter one time too, and almost killed myself. And I made a centrifuge out of one and almost killed myself in that. Oh, I, I built, I had a big, big hammy engine. And I built a shopping cart, you know, like a little pod you got in. Yeah. And I cranked her up and spun myself almost to death. I flew into <laughs> Cleveland. It's, immediately I was like, I don't want to go to jail here. No. no. You get that feeling. It's just no. like, I do not want to go to jail in Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. So we're not going to go to jail in Cleveland. Gonna, I also well, don't want to go to jail in Cleveland. No, but in, you go to Canada, you fly and you touch down, you're like, hey, we could I go could, for a I night. Could, I could go Just to jail for the weekend. <laughs> oh, it's Canada. Like a, it's you, like a, you got video games. Airbnb. All kinds of like, great you know stuff. Not here. Delicious it's like meals. A, it's not like, a, like an Airbnb here. I, it's a lot of crazy shit going on. Here. Listen to you two fucking maniacs. Bubs. <laughs> <laughs> 
we're not going to go to jail here. I'm telling you. Like, you I'd like to go. I'd like to travel around the world and just spend one night in every jail. South America, even worse. I do not want to go to a jail in South America. You guys are going to be here the whole time, right? We certainly are. We hope everybody will come out and see us because we did fly all day to get here, and it sucked. <laughs> It wasn't that bad, actually. Well, they, they shut off for booze. Like, you know what? When you're on an airplane, after three drinks, like, they're going to they're gonna cut you off. Like, it's like you're a girl's coat. You're going to eat one cupcake and get cut off. That's it. That's all you get. Three drinks. Well, it was an American airline, though, wasn't it? That's yep. why. United. I have to go explore. We have to end the episode. But, again, I'm going to be here all day. So remember the next time you want to know what to f***ing do, where to grow, I mean go, and what to see. Check out the show and cleave it to us. Don't hit me with your car. (laughs) 